Why, good morning. This is Pastor Hayton with another Lower Lights devotional. Another day is dawned. Remember as children, young man growing up, my dad would gather us around for family devotions often in the mornings and he would pray, Lord, we thank thee for the light of another day. I've heard that so many times and yet I'm coming to be thankful for each new day that God has given and I realize that it's a day to love and to serve him day to reach out and try to be a blessing to others. And I certainly want to be a blessing to many today as the Lord leads and gives opportunity. But I was thinking about the time that Christ was ministering here on earth. The Bible says that he looked out over the multitudes and he was moved with compassion upon them. And what caused him to feel such compassion was that he saw the people, the multitude, as sheep having no shepherd. And I don't know that there's hardly anything in the nature world that is worse than a shepherdless sheep. You know, they tell us sheep, and maybe that's why God refers to us as the sheep of his pasture. Sheep really aren't very smart animals. Uh, sheep uh, have many characteristics that cause them to really need somebody to watch over them and to take care of them. Shepherdless sheep can become prey for the wolves and the coyotes and other predators that might uh, take their life because, you know, sheep can't really defend themselves. They can't outrun the predator. You ever seen a sheep try to run? May run for just a few feet, kind of a, uh, I don't know whether you call it even a run or not. It's kind of a, I don't know how to describe. I've seen sheep that have run a few feet and it's certainly not a very uh, characteristic of a swift runner. So they can't outrun them. They can't outfight the predator. I had somebody tell me one time that you could put your hand in the mouth of a sheep and he couldn't bite down hard enough to hurt you. And so we know that the mouth is made for just grazing the vegetation. And so how could he uh, take a firm hold and bite his predator in such a way that the predator would let go of them, it just can't be done. And, uh, you know, they can't make a lot of noise. I can't imagine a big bad wolf being scared by a sheep just crying out, bah! Uh, that wouldn't scare the wolf off at all, I don't imagine. So we find a lot of times a shepherdless sheep is left torn and bleeding and and oftentimes defeated, destroyed by the predators. And isn't that a lot what's going on in our society today? Is that the multitudes are being destroyed by those that uh, Satan uses, those tactics and those things that Satan uses to destroy the lives of men. Satan has great destructive power. For Jesus said that we're not to fear him, that is able to destroy the body, but fear him that is able to destroy both body and soul in hell. And you know, Satan works on the multitudes today. Little wonder we see people looking so pitiful as they are battered and torn, as they are bloodied, and oftentimes left for dead by the predators of life. Uh, in addition to that, sheep need a shepherd to lead them on to green pastures. Remember the psalmist said, he leadeth me beside the still waters. He leadeth me into the, into the green pastures. And a sheep can stay in a pasture. And if that uh, area is known to them, uh, they don't have enough sense to move on when the grass is all grown, uh, gone. Sheep can be terribly destructive to a pasture. They just kind of uproot the grass. And after a while, the shepherd has to lead the pasture on to a new area where there is fresh grass. But those sheep will not move by themselves. That's the pasture they know. They will not move on to another. So if they survive the predator, they could easily waste away by starvation uh, without a shepherd. And we see a lot of hungry people in the world today that have never really discovered the green pastures that God would lead them into. Well, shepherdless sheep cannot even combat and survive their own filth. Many places we find that there's a, a process that is called crutching and, and that's uh, taking care of a sheep in such a way that, that in their elimination that, that hygiene is properly provided and, 
And, uh, you know, it seems like that a lot of times the sheep uh, get in such a condition that maggots invade their body and burrow under their skin. And, well, it's not a pretty picture, that of a shepherdless sheep. And I know today that we need to be concerned about what Christ saw. He saw the multitudes as sheep having no shepherd, hungry and thirsty, defenseless against the predators, and wallowing in their own filth and being destroyed by their own accumulation of filth. We need a shepherd. That's why Jesus said, I am the good shepherd. I thank God for a good shepherd today. Heavenly Father, thank you for being a shepherd to those who are willing to submit to thee. We need a good shepherd so badly. Now bless us throughout this day is our earnest prayer. Amen. Well, thanks for letting me share. I probably went a little over time today, but I'll try to cut a little short tomorrow if you'll tune back in. Goodbye.